Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the next part of my Byzantine Empire campaign. Remember off last time, we finished off, uh, we kept continued expanding east, and then we stopped and started rebuilding. We off, like we were offered peace by the Kingdom of Jordan, but we said, nay, we will take your lands for ourselves and make it our own, and only then shall we have peace. Especially because I didn't even realize I was initially at war with them, so I'm like, I'm at war with you, I might as well kill you anyways. You know, you haven't done anything to me. Which some might say is the reason why you should have killed them. But who said I had anything remotely akin to logical consistency? <laughs> so what we're going to start doing is, we have our monk here that should deploy next turn, it looks like. I don't think he's deployed quite yet. And he'll start converting the population here to Catholic, not to Catholicism, away from Catholicism to Greek Orthodoxy. I think it might just be called Orthodoxy in this game. We sent our army, which took um, Sis from the Kingdom of Cilicia. Uh, we're going to move north, basically make a pit stop in Ancrea to make them a little bit happier. Then we're going to go up to Sinope, make them a little bit happier for a turn. And then we're going to move it east, to either to help with the Kingdom of Jordan, or I'll send it across the ocean to try and take Katha for myself. So they don't, I don't think that's a navy, I think that's a general, so I can land here nearby... An attack. I don't really know how naval situations works. That could be a pretty big problem, but I hope I hope it won't be the end of the world. After that, we'll probably hold off for a couple of turns because we really need to get this po this political situation a bit more under our control. We are only under acceptable. We we made a big bit to try and gain more support for our fact for our, like um for the, our dynasty, but uh, political situation is not the, the strongest right now. Let's see what's over there. But yeah, here is Ezekios, he's our current leader. He actually has a illegitimate son. Uh, Named Sergios and a legitimate daughter, but I wanted to. I decided to name this guy heir, who, even though he is not of the family, he has a son by the who is the grandchild of the previous emperor. And you know, he might as well have you know go back to that line if possible. Oh, looks like I can promote this guy, um, which is gonna be pretty nice. I'll probably I'll promote him. Oh wait, stop! Actually, can I cancel that? Can I promote you yet? He's not quite the high enough rank. What rank are you? He's almost there. I'm actually going to hold that position for this guy. I do want him to get that, personally. Um, this is the most important guy for me. So, of course, the one... So Alexios is already there. You're already there. So, one thing to do for this guy is... I don't think he's a governor. He's a guy. Yeah, he's a governor. Is try to get him into this position. And then, once he becomes high enough rank... Actually, he might be high enough. No, he's almost high enough rank. When he ranks up, I'll then get him to Logothetas in place of this guy. And we'll basically, you know, keep the high positions in the family. We, we're maxed out on governors. So, I think it's kind of unfortunate. It's because we are currently maxed out for governors. It means that I cannot give, make um, some of our new places have governorships. Um, but I'm not really sure if I should swap around where the governors are located. Uh, even if it would, ha would help some situations. The only thing I'd say is I'm kind of concerned about some of the levels of religion. Especially, I think Ancreate fell since I moved the priest off to Sis. Which is not going to help the public order situation anytime soon. Even though there is something that should increase the amount of influence of Orthodox Christianity inside. Um, but oh well. Right, let's see. Can I attack yet? Oh no, I'm besieging these guys and it'll take me two turns to do that. Okay, that's that's the current situation for this turn. I guess we'll just have to end turn. Oh, uh, my, my Emperor has a new skill. Uh, he, he's not governing anything, right? So I don't really think governor stuff really benefits him. So I do want the bonus uh, influence earned, because that will allow us to make more political actions a little bit easier. 
I will just end turn. <coughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, right now we're, we're kind of best buds with the um, Sultanate of Vroom. Uh, I'm and I don't think I think it'll take a while before I before I decide to turn on them. You know they've been pretty they've been pretty decent allies so far, and they kind of made the case to me to not to survive just by. Um, I do need to keep it on that. Alexios has died of old age. Oh no! I will decree. That will leave a power vacuum in the in the fam in the situ in this situation. So if Alexios dead, he does have a son Michael who will just kind of exist in the family, but um But she's a drunkard, wow. Mm, I'm tempted to promote him, but I actually do kind of like his bonuses too. Um, it's kind of like makes me conflicted if I'm being honest with you. So you, I, I'm gonna promote him there eventually, and I want to eventually promote him there. That way he have, I, he has a lower upkeep. Um, though I actually just noticed that it increases integrity too, which is really nice. What's everyone's loyalty at? Everyone seems to have decent loyalty. Nobody seems to outright be wanting to betray me quite yet. But we'll keep an eye on things. To Mosaic, I do not want to promote the upgrade that. Alright, now let's deploy this guy. Oh, he's already, he's deployed now. So that will start helping there. Um, ortho, uh, that, so that one's already been converted. I was I was not sure if I'd remember to convert it or not. Um, the forge is being upgraded. I need more public order buildings, I think, is just a big problem right now. Let me dismantle that and just try and go more, more straight up more public order in my buildings and stuff. Um, the Platea. I do, what does this lead to? Oh, so this is the stuff that gives me all that artists and stuff. So do I have any animal husbandry buildings? No. This one recruits assassins. That's not too bad. This one is... Doesn't give me any public order, but it gives me more burger population, more wealth, or construction costs. Um, this one's public order. Peasantry, nobility growth. That's not too bad. I do like the road development part of that one. Ooh, I like, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make a gibbet. I wanna make this and make a gibbet. Cause who we don't need no public problems. I definitely need to research a windmill. I think one of the big problems I'm gonna start encountering soon is, is money. Do I have a fountain in this particular settlement? No, we actually do not. So let's actually build a fountain here. To increase the sanitation, to reduce the chance of plague. This plague is not good. Not good at all. So let's move this guy to Ancrea. We'll, like, garrison him for a moment just to make it positive for a turn. And then we'll, uh, a nice bump in the prop right direction. And then afterwards I'll have him move to Sinope. Stay there for a turn. Get that population in a good positive direction. Then move him to Trebizond. And, you know, so on and so forth. I do need to keep an eye on the situation on this war here. It looks like it's starting to go bad for the Bulgars, which is a not which is not a good thing because that means my well, he actually has a full stack right there. He looks like that's their capital building, or yeah, it looks like it's their capital. So he's about to take out their capital. Look and it looks like there's a war over here is going pretty bad. So this war to the north might be resolved without me, which means I definitely need to get up to Trebizond, the final settlement of Trebizond, and take them out. If possible, so we'll wait one more turn to attack, so that way we can have everything done. I may assign a new provisional governor. Oh, because my other provisional governor died. Yeah, that that would that would open up space. So, Lithuania should be fine. Public order. Cilicia. Uh, where's Fergia? Which one is Fergia again? 
Oh, that one. I think that's in Korea. No, in Korea. Wait, that's in Korea, right? Let me let me see in Korea. No. Let's go to let's do let's make a governor here in Cilicia. It looks like there's no family left who can take it. So we will do a new guy. Hmm. I will go for him in Cilicia. And then an edict. This one will be an edict of. Uh... Oh, that's really just tolerance. I thought that was something going to be something a little bit different. Never mind. So we'll go for empower local ruler. For that, what is the situ? What is this one's edict? Oh, this one doesn't have an edict. Um, this doesn't have an order. A guy leading it anymore. So this one, I can drop this one, and I can go for. Um, I'm not going to do levy taxes because it's not high enough to make that happen. So we're just going to do settle tribes. That will start increasing my money a little bit without too much going wrong there. This one I can actually start also going to settle the tribes. I can even probably levy taxes and it'll be just fine for more money. Though I'm tempted to just go for more wealth from commerce. Is this commerce wealth? Hmm. We'll kind of we'll think about it. We'll we'll see how the public order goes in Rhodes. Rhodes is definitely pretty happy, so I'm not too against trying to increase their taxes on them. But if they start getting pissy at me, then I'll have to you know rectify the situation by re-lowering their taxes. Public order bonus will make Ankria happy. Should make Ankria happy now. Um, so let's end turn, and Korea should go in now into a positive direction with their public order, with minimal input from me now. At least that's the hope. The hope indeed. Um, they want a peace treaty. I'm tempted to accept it. But they'll be killed without me, and also mean when I take Crimea, I won't have to worry about the north anymore, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Do not look for an answer to my words at the bottom of a wine cup. Sure, you can have Ekaterine. I don't know why you want her, but sure. She's a bit of a drunkard. She may look pretty, but it's all about the inside, okay? And her inside is not very good. She might have, fall, have liver failure eventually. We have attrition, fire, and steel. So here, let's do Swellers fine. So we're gonna build a. We're gonna build a Orthodox chapel, maybe. Mm, let's build a Platia. I still want that public order. So the public order is also pretty good from that. Yeah, public order starting to go is actually pretty good now here due to the effects of a governor and effects of other stuff. Oh, actually, before I attack, I almost forgot. Um, you, governor dude, you're not good enough yet. Oh, wait, there's actually just no space for you. Hmm, so who can I promote if I wanted to? Who has the highest loyalty out of all of you governors? You seem to have a high and good loyalty. Your general. So this guy, I think I'll promote him. And allow him to do it. Though sometimes I've actually found when I've made a move, I've actually had some of my own family try and cancel it. So we'll see how that goes. <coughs> so it looks like I've had two of my children marry into the heir. Since I know that guy was heir. He's dead now, actually. What? Wow. I, he was heir. I guess not anymore. Um, I'm not sure if he's actually deceased or if it's just because the connection was lost with Thoros died. I, I didn't actually notice if it said he was deceased before. Um, but he was the factionary of that king, of the Hungary, and now she's married off to the king, to, uh, him. He's an influential uncle, but he's not the main line. At all. 
So the public order is perfectly fine there now. Yep, it's even going positive on its own now. I'll move here for a turn, and then I'll need then I'll move out next turn to take Kaffa. Right, so this battle here is I'm expecting to be pretty difficult to fight to fight into. I'm actually surprised about how much attrition I took from besieging the settlement, and they took almost no attrition. That's actually uh, really surprising. They would start taking nutrition in two turns, but that's not really going to be helpful for me. Oh, if I have to fall back because of attrition, that feels so bad. But uh, attacking is going to be pretty difficult with my units so weakened. What is the, I don't really even know what the stats are. The infantry. They have more infantry and they have more defensible location. I might just have to fall back. Question is, why do I take, um... No um... Here, what we're gonna do instead of making Sinop a bit happier, we're just gonna run... Uh, this army, let's force march. Let's try to rush it over here to be of assistance, and then we'll take it with it with the secondary, with another army behind it. And we'll just keep building more of these things while we wait. Laying siege to the settlement. If they attack us, great. But um, I'm a little bit wary now of Trape attacking them. You're governor, so let's go to start leveling taxes increase. Yeah, Rhodes is fine with extra taxes now, which is good for me and my wallet. We'll see how this goes. Um, I might just need to fall back, fire and steal, and like just go with two with a full with two armies. I was not expecting them to suffer that much through from attrition for just two turns of about of like waiting. Um, looks like they're attacking me. I'm actually happy, quite happy to fight this out. Reason why is I tend to be better at defending myself than the AI is at attacking, and then we're no longer going to be fighting inside the walls. Which put, means that they don't have the terrain advantage anymore. At least in, in that front. Which means now it's all about stratagem. And they don't really have a lot of cav. In a game where cavalry is king, that makes me the winner here. They, they're attacking with it raining, which means even archers actually be less effective. Um, looks like there's a hill over here I can try to fall. I can. Oh, it's also the edge. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like hugging the edge, but it's also the best terrain. I'm not going to give up a hill just because it's the edge of the wall of a wall, and I'm, but I don't feel good about it. Start battle and get our men into position. Indeed, more for us to kill. I'm gonna have this unit in the back here, just ready to f try and fend off any rear charges here. I'm gonna send these guys over on this. Kind of be more up on the hill here. That way I can move them around this flank if needed. While I'm gonna have my general here kind of hold this flank, and I'm gonna have them be able to move around here. So I won't quite have my back up against the red line, so there's room to maneuver. Because honestly, with someone with a cabinet advantage being right up against those is actually kind of bad for me. 
because of the fact that I can't maneuver as much as I would like that kind of situation, so. All right, we're gonna fast forward here. We get a little bit of a tactical view here. As they're like, we're advancing, we're positioning ourselves on this hill. Um, looks like they're saying their archers out here are really far away from the rest of their troops. So I might be able to punish that um, as they get a bit closer. Let's start move walking these guys over here. Yeah, they're not doing a good job of protecting those archers. So what I'm going to start doing is pop play. The we want the one. We want, if we want the one closest to the enemy melee infantry to break quickly, we'll start doing with that. This unit's actually breaking off from the rest of them, which will make them a, potentially a good target for me. We'll have to be kind of careful how the situation goes, because we may need to fall back if those guys actually charge us. Um... They got a good rear charge on my guys. But I'm gonna get a rear charge on their rear charge! Haha! -ha. That was a good rear charge there. I generally used to fall back though. That was a good job breaking that unit there. After that, that unit's not quite broken. I'm surprised that that unit was holding out so long to fight against two of my cav units. Oh, were they walking instead of running like I told them to and that's and they broke? Is that what just happened there? That's fucking ridiculous if that's the case. That general's completely surrounded on three sides by my by my cavalry. I'd be surprised if they hold out forever. Yeah, it says it's losing decisively, so this should be good for us. Finish him. Good, I just shattered him. Perfect for us. Let's continue dealing with these archer units. Well, I didn't shatter him, I broke him more accurately. Um, let's hold this, let's reform this guy on the flank here. Good, there. We're winning there. These guys are reforming up. Let's finish them off. Those guys got a good flank. There we go, I just broke the enemy general. Let's, um... Where's the weakened unit? This one. 
stay on him. We'll probably need to rest our general after this battle. I'd be surprised if I didn't need to. Oh, there's actually another army still incoming. I didn't even notice that. We fall back my melee infantry here. The enemy have rallied their units. Some of their units have rallied more accurate. Oh my, my why these guys are actually advanced a lot further ahead than I thought they would, and now it's causing me problems. How what is this the way this is attacking is kinda of strange though. Wiping them out, and we should be able to do a nice rear charge onto these guys to finish these guys off too. Oh no, why are you, why are you, so, what the hell is that about, dude? You just almost killed yourself right there. Already, you take a shit ton of damage for no reason now. God damn it. They just lost almost half of their group just by being mentally retarded. Oh my god. They all, they're gonna die. Reform the lines. Right, this battle is basically won at this point. They're kind of going in like uh, middle of the area. So fortunate that I did lose that those cav units because uh, I thought I ordered all my cav away, but for some reason one was still going. Um, oh damn! There's their hunters completely outrange my guys. They might be probably more elite than mine are. That's probably why. I'm gonna try moving my front line up a little bit to try and counter their archers if I, if I can. Oh, uh, they're moving up to my archers now. What is this unit? This is a very light spear unit. They have shields, but they should still be pretty easy to take get rid of, especially if I war cry them. Uh, oh, he broke him. Good. Enemy units have been rallied. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful not <coughs> to actually kill this guy like I did the last one by going too close to the archers by himself. That was a good charge right there. Broke that unit. Now we can. Oh my god! He's really. Oh my. Ah. It 
kidding me? He did like one little charge and he's already dead? What a schmuck! I was even careful about it. Ah, that's, that's bullshit. Literally, like, only two P units were lost in that charge, and my general happened to be one of them, which is so annoying. This unit may actually lose. He's getting peppered by too many shots. I'm gonna try and fall him back. And before he... Oh, he just shout just shattered. Let's try to shatter that unit and then run away. Breaking. They're broken. They're not shattered yet. Okay, we have to fall back, though. There we go. I got him. I don't... I, I, it sh it's not the heir, and I think the other guy's a governor, so it's one of the other nobles that I just lost. But still, it's a general. Um, who, who a three-star general, which is pretty... You know, that means I put some effort into making sure he was not useless. Um, might even make my, my income drop, too. We'll kind of see how it goes. Yeah, my cavalry I think is officially out of the cop battle right now. They can't. They they're, they're just, there's not enough of them to really um, to take out an archer unit by themselves. So we kind of just have to. I'm just try using my own archers. My, I'm gonna I'm gonna advance, like tell my guys to just go up and advance to attack them. Troops being ambushed. That made no sense. Yeah, well, then we'll just have to be prepared to fall back with our with our with most of our units. What are you? What is that formation? You mental retards! You're not even facing the direction of the archers. They should start wavering due to army losses now. Oh, yeah, they're wavering due to army losses, which means they should break any time second now. The enemy have their units. There we go. Here, we we let's clear up as much as we can. I'm glad I chose to not immediately attack because that ended up being very much in my favor. Um, 
because them attacking me meant I had a nice defensive position and they lost their nice defensive position. still some sizable units left over that I want to get rid of to make the taking the actual capital itself as easy as possible. But I'm doing times three speed so it shouldn't take too long to wipe them all out. Yeah, you're dead already. Alright. The last one left is just the one that my general's attacking way over there by himself. Well, like, what remains of my general's bodyguard, I should say. My crossbow units right here are all are gold tier, actually. Yeah, they're rank 7. These guys are more silver to bronze. These guys are silver. These guys are also silver. These guys are almost, my cab is almost gold. They've probably been losing too many men to actually consider it to get to gold. So they kind of, they keep replenishing going down a little bit. No matter how many kills they get. Yeah, it's super unfortunate that the death of the general there, like, I was not, I was thinking, oh, this is just be a nice one, nice easy charge into their flank. You know, like the archer shouldn't be focusing him. And then end up like, he just like, the two units that died there was, one of them was him. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, which means I do need to replace him with somebody strategy, warrior, um, let's go a strategist, but let's see, anything smart with their loyalty, anything like that? Looks like I, they don't tell me their ages, um, so I can't even tell, but I'll recruit that one. So he died, but he was not a family member. He was another noble guy. Yeah. Alright. So my new general, no, this is the new general here, David. Okay. So she comes of age in four years. These guys are all dead. He comes... I don't know. I actually know when the boy comes of age. I think probably nine years for him. Maybe... I don't know. I think probably 18. Oh, maybe 16. I don't know if they come of age at the same time. Okay. Yeah, so I should be able to just wipe... Take this out now without any issues. Right? And honor. Uh, did I glitch this somehow? Forgive me, but I cannot. Why not? For death and honor. Um, we cannot follow this order. Hear us, Lord. I'm afraid we cannot. Something glitch. That's weird. We hunger for battle. We cannot follow this order. At your oh. We Why can't, can't I? Ready for battle. Two victory. Huh? Why can't I order anybody to attack right now? It's my turn. Huh? Why not? I can tell you to fortify, I can but I can't tell you to move. Why? I'm I'm confused. We cannot follow this order. Forgive me, Um I'm gonna save real quick. I can't even save. What the hell is going on right now? Did 
This is we. It's exactly. This is kind of weird. See, does that have a wheat field or anything like that? Well, I can't mid fill afford it. Um. I would want to attack, but it won't let me attack. I'm gonna try ending turn. Wait, I, I can't even end turn. What the? What the hell's going on? I can't end turn. Can't move my troops. Let me save. I can't save. Can I load anything? What? Um, what? Cloud? Autos? Do I have to restart this part? Wow. Wow. I don't have time to restart the part though. Wait, wait, there's an event. Maybe it's an event going on. <gasps> maybe it's this. Maybe it's this that's stopping me. Reserves of higher are going to despite your best efforts. So the time has come to decide. Should you pay the exorbitant sum of credit to my session or, um... Pay for the restoration. Greek fire saved. Your actions have guaranteed that Greek fire will continue to be manufactured but due to its cost, concentrations, it's put all together. It's, it's composition materials. There may come another day that its supply will be in jeopardy. Uh, political favors. Let's promote him, I guess. Also makes way for any new governors that I have who are not um, already in a good position. I can start promoting them too. I feel like all of my governors are currently promoted. So now can I attack? Oh, I can. Oof. Thank goodness. I was super worried about that. I'm just going to resolve this. Just to finish off the battle. Since I already fought it. I'm just gonna occupy, I'm not gonna loot occupy. It's not worth it at this point, in my experience, so. So he, the general has an upgrade potential. Cunning, authority. Let's do this, because I wanna get to campaign movement as soon as I can. Trapezone's actually starting to go negative. It's immigrants, apparently, are causing some problems. We'll send this guy over to keep up the war against the Georgia while this guy replenishes for, for a few turns. Terms we can't afford to do anything else. Uh, and I'm officially happy that that the glitch wasn't a problem. Imperium has increased. We're now pretty level impressive, which means we now have more supply, more spies, more priests, more champions, more governors. Oh, I like the idea of more governors. But too bad about Andronic being killed. Thankfully, he wasn't in my family. Uh, but now we can have more governors, which means I'm going to put a governor in... Um, uh, probably, probably where is this place? This is, this is, this is, this is, can I, I, do I, oh, I can't afford one. I can't afford it. Never mind. I have zero gold right now. I have exactly zero gold. I can't afford to do anything right now. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, oopsies. But yeah, I'm super happy. I'm super scared. I was like, what happened? What's glitching out? But apparently, like, the events pop were popped. We didn't pop up properly. Oh. I was scared. Is that guy? Wait, did the Kingdom of Georgia just take an extra settlement right there? We respect strength and wisdom. I and say I'm no. Sure that you will show I want you dead. Did I? Didn't I agree to a peace deal with these guys? Or am I confusing them? Some my jet, my my uh, Jonas is now the leader.
Ezekiel is dead. I'm wow. Fifty-four years old, man. It's probably not gonna help with the political situation anytime soon, so <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So the heir is Alexios over here. Now, Yor Yorgos is the only one who is still alive out of the original family tree in Black County of the Wise. The lives, the wives last for a long time. We probably know what killed them. We'll probably kill them. <laughs> um, so, eight years old. They're both actually the same age. That's kind of funny. Um, and then... Damien? Damien? I don't know how to pronounce that. So he has a son who's a little bit older than the heir. So at the very least, his line will continue to serve us. I want to build a gibbet. Where's my gibbet? Gibbet, yes. And then uh, now, time for political offices. Let's do governorships. So with his death... We've unfortunately lost also a governor to buy because our guy got promoted. So you are decent at melee, but I don't I don't really want you. So you can go there. Um, and then you, what's your scholar? I do like that. So let's put you, you so Lydia is open. Lithuania is open. Pontus is open. Let's put you in... Um, Bith Lydia, Bith Wayne. No, what's the situation in Lydia? Over here, I think, right? What's the situation here? Spirit Grace is going to go negative, so let's put you there, then. And hopefully that helps the situation slightly. That we're going to go to empower local ruler to try and increase the public order there. Same thing here, so we're going to go empower local Wait. Apparently I don't need to, so we're going to go growth and wealth. Maybe. So we can convert this or dismantle it. Let's, uh, I can't afford to convert it yet. So neither can I really convert that. Um, let's... Uh, I can't afford to convert it either. All of these are pretty nice to have. I'm going to attack here. Oh, well, apparently I can just take it because there's nothing really garrisoning it. But I can't actually take it because of the fact that um, I don't have any siege no, equipment with me. So, uh, that might have been their only army. So, I took... This is their capital here. It looks like they do have some extra settlements left. And I did unfortunately lose one of my cavalry units... Um, when I, when I arrived. Oh, actually, no, I want, I actually do want Power Local Ruler, because the only reason why they're Paul Visitor right now is because of the fact that, um, was about that there's an army there, and I didn't really think about that. I might try to go for Scout Toy, maybe. I'll cancel this one so I can get a recruiting unit. Uh, real quick. Uh, let's recruit another... I can recruit another th of that. Oh, I can actually get my ca calf back. Good, I'll get calf. Um, I can't afford the gibbet, which is what I want. Though the meat market isn't too bad either. Um, I would increase the amount of money I get for my wheat field. But I, what does a meat market actually go to? Well, I never checked. Growth and public order. Okay. Good to note. We we'll have to wait till next turn. I, I, yeah, I forgot. I already forgot about that. So yeah, let's just hold off there. These guys actually do need a fountain of some sort to kind of fix the uh, problem there. Let's and oh, uh, apparently unassigned skill for you. Um, what's that? Integrity. I do like bonus integrity, but I want I want to go to pop corner. I can sign another one. Oh, I did, apparently I didn't sign all of them yet. Um, let's go Frigia, I guess. Frigia does need some, some love. I guess you're the last one left. Frigia. Uh, the public order is good. So let's just go bonus commerce. So there's not really much com money to go around right now, but... 
I don't, I'm not gonna make it negative. Need to write a lower my tax rate. So let's just do that. All right. So let's end turn. So the kingdom of Georgia is actually is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but um, thankfully it looks as far as I can tell, there seems to only be one army though. But um, one thing I definitely want to do, once I deal with the Kingdom of Georgia, I do want to start uh, getting dip good diplomatic relations with the borders on my my eastern borders. I don't want to focus on the east anymore. Um, I want to focus now on expanding westward instead of eastward now. Um, natural causes was Ayustina. Apparently there's a new kid. Parrots, Alexandros, and Eucodia. You, 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 there's apparently is a fa- oh, we have a lot of famine. Um, fields. I think I can artificially make food better. So who is the kid? So these two have a kid. Okay, a son. <laughs> Mine. <coughs> oh, sorry, my throat. You, I'm going to promote you. Um, where's my general? Where's my new general guy? I lost a lot of my Logothetis, which is a lot of corruption money kind of just out the window now. And I don't really think there's anybody I can promote right now. I can promote this guy. Non-family members, but I'll have to live with it. Um, I need money. I, I need food. Um... But, you know, all my... I can't wait. Uh, first, I need to check to see if I can. So, can I do anything to get food from here? What do I do with famines? Um, what's the fertility level here, actually? Before I actually even build this, this might actually just be a straight bad idea to build there. It was here. There. The fertility level space is four, which means it has really good fertility level. Only places better around here. There's some places that are better around, but nothing under that I can control. So, nothing that I control right now. So, might as well build the fields there. It's just not the end of the world. Let's build the gibbet. And let's start re repairing buildings and stuff here. Oh, they all get additional things from fertility level? No, this one doesn't. Okay. Alright. Did this garrison just get bigger? Yeah, it's not really a big bat. It's not really a battle that's in contest question, so I'm just gonna have to all resolve it because it's not really worth it. I could subjugate them if I want to, but I want to occupy them. Commander. Is mine, my territory. Looks like the Ayubids were also war with them, and we actually just took, we just wiped them out then. Um, I didn't realize those were their last settlements, but apparently it was. So basically, yeah, subjugating them would have been a good thing, anyways, because they would have just been wiped out too. And it did give me also a new resource, which is nice. So let's see if I can get some trade going, and I now I need to start doing some good diplomacy here to keep my my nearby Come, my um, people Speak. happy. We are men of war. We have need of talk, I'm sure, and also wine. Well, why do you trouble my digestion today? Your digestion? You seem a bit of a mean asshole. Wait, wait, George. Oh, his wife must have just died. <laughs> he wanted old, but it's unsuitable. <laughs> Demand the wife. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> let's see. I have 300 gold. Will you take 362 gold? No. 
Okay. Meanie. Um, Venus still hates my guts, but they're not brave enough to declare war on me. Soldier Nick of Room. Oh, that's a blah, 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 blah. All right, now we just need to take out the Empire of Trebizond. Yeah, we definitely need to be a bit careful about the enemies here on our borders. Uh, who are you at war with? You're at war with Tre... Oh, not you. Um, okay. This guy. You're at war with the Kingdom of Jerusalem and the Republic of Venice, so... How about I offer you a non-aggression pact? Oh, never mind then. Never mind. Meanie. So let's go for bonus uh, morale, and then let's go for missile attack rates to make our missiles actually a bit better. Or I do like some of this stuff. I want loyal. You'll be loyal to me, good sir. Loyalty is key. Perfect on that front. So where's my general, David? You can I promote you. Um, you, I can promote to the next tier, which is good. Um, and of course, that's all my generals. I don't have another army. I should probably start making a third army soon enough. What is this? Oh. Okay. Um, for some reason, it says like there's a death icon there. I don't... Says I can almost say, but also I have said have a food surplus. I is it just because the f there's a famine? Maybe maybe you'll be fixed next turn. Yeah, because our Imperium is impressive. We have better public order, but you also have uh, minor diplomatic penalties, and we have some corruption, and we have upkeep costs for land units. And our power politically is also only acceptable, which is in of itself a problem. But we're getting more and more public influence. This guy has none, though, right now, uh, which is a problem. Maybe this is, this is his wife dying due to that? Um, let's see, who can we... Why, can, why do I click one and I click both of them? Oh, is he, she married to Michael and then married to this guy? Is that what happened? So she's in two places at once. Let's try gathering some support. Mass gather support. <laughs> Again, there will be another situation where they can't stop us all. Just like the idea of, like, you know, uh, uh, the raid on Area 51. They can't shoot us all. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was a weird, that was a weird times. You know, there's actually people who went there, too, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, it was like... I remember, like, up to it, it's like, how many people actually go, kind of a situation, and, uh, joking about Naruto runners and Florida men, and that, that was, that, I think that was just kind of a funny meme all around there. Attrition, but should be fine now. Let's see, who has the higher one? You, political favors. Apparently, I'm, myself, am trying to block him, which is weird, or maybe not. Whatever daughter has been enticed by Suda and planned to elope, should she be followed? She's 56 years old. She's not one of my daughters. Intervene. This man is not worthy. He is not worthy. Uh, his, he failed. But most people su succeeded. Good. So I think overall we did get a net improvement from that, from doing that. So I'd say good job. So apparently who is about to be enticed? Someone really old, apparently. You marry him. <laughs> uh, apparently you've been married to all the brothers now. Um, which is not all of them, but a surprising amount of them. 
So who got, who's being attempted to be married though? I don't actually understand who's trying to marry who. So it might, I don't think it was Eugenia, it looked different. It looked like one of these guys, but she's married. You know, she's married. Did, didn't have that picture and of course, didn't have that picture either. That's weird, I, I think, at least my view. Um, I don't really know what happened. Probably should build windmills after this one. This will be repairing the last bits here. What's the mil how much is military presence bonus up? So it, it should still be po it should still be positive or barely negative. So once this guy replenishes, I'm just gonna move on out of here. These guys do need to stay for a little bit longer, and I need to invest a little bit into this settlement before it's value before it's like strong enough to be on its own. And it looks like our food situation is fixing itself nicely. Uh, Roads, you have a nice amount. So let's go amount of, most amount of wealth. For per local local lo 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 thingy majigger. 60 wealth and bonus food, which is this one's 40 food, 60 food. Uh, let's build a sheep herd. Sheep herd's money. What do I need for food? Uh, let's go this one. Uh, what's this one? Oop, I did that. Didn't mean to do that. Um, do I already have a field? Oh, it does already have a field, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Alright guys, it's, about, it's actually a little over an hour, I didn't even notice the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to save here. I'm going to do it before I forget to do it, like it happened in the past. Brilliant that way. So this episode, we, full, we full, removed the kingdom of Georgia from the face of the earth. We have countered diplomatic new uh, factions in the east. We have hopefully resolved all combat in the east. Next time, we're going to try and move north and take out the Empire of Trebizond. Part of me wishes I'd fought that battle out, but it was kind of really close to the end of the episode, so I just wanted to all resolve it, get it done, and especially with how small it was. I didn't feel it was worth it. I also thought I maybe had another one to attack, but looked at the Ayubids came in and took him out for me, so there is that. My nose is super itchy right now. <laughs> um, but I'm 100% going to try finding Kaffa, uh, um, because if I fight Kaffa, then, you know, it'll be the end of the Emperor of Trebizond. So my, I would like to fight that one out, um, if possible. And then after that, we'll probably take a little bit of time, kind of like a, try play diplomacy, try a little bit of politics, and then focus our eyes on the west, ideally. Though we might need to be dealing with the north. I thought I accepted their peace, but it must have been somebody else. But I th maybe it's these guys who I... I did. I don't really know who I accept a piece from, but I thought it was these guys. So we're probably going to need to deal with these guys a little bit, though they don't really have a lot of settlements, so I might take Kaffa and I might take Bilgorod. Um, and then I think the rest might be dealt with before we even get there. I definitely want Kaffa before Bulgaria gets there. So we're definitely going to rush, rush, rush up there with whatever we got. This one's actually the closest to being fully replenished. Um... And it is really a bad, probably a better army to do it. This is this one was one hundred percent like an open field army, like one like you know minus that unit. Could I recruit anything from here if I wanted to? <laughs> you know, I kind of want to replace this guy with somebody else. Nothing really, war unless I, well, I mean, it's not the end of to get that next one, right? Um, let me disband this unit. Can I disband? Well, how much is this? Yes, I can. Let's disband this one. I was gonna take two. Two turns, but it's gonna match the replenishment rate, so that should be fine. Um, let me save that over. 
And let's see what happens next time. But have a good day, night, evening, wherever you may be. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm happy to see that people seem to be enjoying this series. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode too. And you continue to enjoy them. Uh, I have Monday's co videos coming up Monday through Friday. If you're on YouTube, um, I have, I have a, a live stream VOD where on Mondays the recording, it's um, a recording of my uh, live streams. I stream over on Twitch. Uh, playing as the Skinks in Total Warhammer 2. Um, they are on my live stream VOD channel, which I should start linking in the descriptions, but I keep forgetting to. So, anyways. Um, take care, everybody.